Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Rail Fight, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So Donald Trump, again, ha, has taken the opportunity to make the Democrats eat their words. Kamala was like, oh, I worked at McDonald's. She didn't. So Trump was like, I'm going to work at McDonald's. I'll do a little bit of time so I can say I worked there longer than she did. He learned how to make French fries. He made some French fries. Learned how to do the drive through then did the drive through and was like, bitch, I'm done. That's it. I've worked there longer than you. And now we get uh, Joe Biden going, Trump supporters are garbage. Well, what is the what is the obvious? The obvious next thing that you think Donald Trump will do? Well, he did it. Donald Trump managed to get himself a garbage truck. I love it. It is, it is the best thing ever. Donald Trump does a ride-along uh, with Wisconsin garbage men after Biden calls his supporters garbage. This comes to us from the post-millennial. We'll jump over to Daily Mail, and I love it. I love it. Do like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm at Third Railify on YouTube, on Twitter. And on Rumble, I do all, all of my live streaming on Rumble because it is a uh, freer speech. And I say a lot of naughty words when I do live streams. So follow me there if you can. So on Wednesday, former President Donald Trump rode along with a sanitation crew in Wisconsin in reference to President Biden's recent remarks where he called the Trump supporters garbage. If you don't remember what those uh, comments were, Listen to Joe Biden. Or Puerto Rico, where I'm in my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of seen as unconscionable, and it's un-American. Yeah, that's Joe Biden calling us garbage. Now, in case you do forget, it was a roast comedian, Tony Hinchcliffe, you know, from Heel Tony, that made a uh, off-color joke. I thought it was kind of funny. I smiled at it, but maybe that wasn't the the place for it. But whatever. Besides the point, he made a joke about the garbage patch in the ocean. You know that thing we call Puerto Rico, and um, everyone was like, "Oh my God, he is he is uh, he's saying the worst things about all Latinos." Well, it was about Puerto Rico. Let's be honest, Puerto Rico has a garbage crisis. Their landfills are beginning to overflow. I mean, this poor little this poor little island territory gets battered by hurricanes repeatedly, one after another after another. Yeah, all the landfills are filling up. This place is this place has been beat harder than Kamala Harris's vagina, which is also probably filled with garbage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, plowing ahead. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden, Trump told supporters while sitting in the passenger seat of his vehicle. Let's, let's take a look. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. That is actually a good looking garbage truck. So either somehow they found one and they painted it white and stuck the big sticker on it, or they found a white one. But still, the moment they did that, they must have immediately got to work because this is a rapid turnaround. But there you have Donald Trump in the front. He has his uh, his high visibility jacket on there, his safety vest. And um, Trump's appearance followed a video he released from Trump Force One, where he addressed the camera wearing a safety vest, stating 250 million people are not garbage. Hello, everybody. This is Donald Trump. And... 250 million people are not garbage. The photo op by Trump is in direct response to marks by President Joe Biden during a Tuesday night Zoom call. During that call, Biden reacted to uh, Tony Hinchcliffe's joke, which we have gone through. The comments were met with immediate backlash, with critics arguing it was deeply inappropriate for Biden to refer to supporters of a former president as garbage. It's amazing what what leftist politicians will, will call their citizens. I mean, me, me personally, I've been called a, a member of the fringe minority with unacceptable views by Trudeau. And then he asked his supporters, how is it that they're supposed to tolerate us? 
well, what happens if you don't tolerate us? Do you put us in a camp or in an oven? Like, like, what is it that you're saying? You're saying pretty awful things. But we also have the, uh, the basket of deplorable comment as well. And I, was it 2020? Biden also called Trump supporters chumps. I mean, it, it's a common thing that uh, leftist leaders call their citizens awful names. Some also compared uh, this to Hillary Clinton's basket of deplorables blunder during her 2016 presidential bid. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre was forced to try to remedy the situation, saying Biden was not speaking about Trump supporters as a whole. And that's actually pretty hard to watch. So, so White House claims Biden does not think Trump supporters are garbage despite his remarks. Karine Jean-Pierre, she, she spends like the whole time saying, hey, you know what? Uh, he didn't mean it. It wasn't meant like that. It wasn't supposed to be said like that. I mean, here, here's, here's, one, here's one little clip. There's been a lot of comparisons made to the Hillary Clinton remark, um, using the word deplorables. Um, has the president indicated to you any concern that this comment, this one comment, that he has clarified now could have similar reverberations to that previous comment. I mean, he was certainly active in politics then and was, you know, was, was aware of, yeah. of the impact that that had. I, I'm not going to go back and um, litigate uh, 2016. I'm just not going to do that from here. He was not speaking about Trump supporters. He was not, treat, uh, as a whole, he was not speaking about uh, people who support a different candidate. That he was. Unequivocally, he was. They tried to throw an apostrophe S. They're like, grammar be damned, and an apostrophe S. Nobody talks like that. I don't think that's grammatically correct. It doesn't make any sense, but they're like, it's the only Hail Mary we have. Whoa. Apostrophe S. Doesn't make sense, but that's what they're going with. That is not what he was doing, uh, and he clarified that in his statement last night. Uh, that was not his intent. Uh, he wanted to be very clear about that, hence, again, why he said he was speaking about uh, comments that were made uh, by the comedian. And let's not forget, we can't forget, uh, what we heard was the demonization of Latinos. That's what we heard of a community. No, you did not hear the demonization of Latinos. You heard about a joke about Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, who has a massive garbage crisis. The joke was not about Latinos. The joke wasn't even about Puerto Ricans. The joke was about the crisis on the island. It's amazing that Tony Hinchcliffe managed to put national spotlight on the crisis on the island, and yet no one wants to talk about the crisis on the island. It's amazing. They want to talk about, oh, the demonization of Latinos. No. It's an island full of garbage. They're trapped. They're struggling. They're drowning in garbage. We should be talking about that. No, we don't. We, we don't want. We don't want to do that because we want to go. Re. We're mad about stuff. I mean, sure, it's an obvious attack vector. That's what they. The, they're like, oh, that that's a racist remark. Well, it wasn't. It was just a silly joke. But they wanted to use it as an attack vector, and so the people of Puerto Rico. Well, I mean, I guess. I guess, fuck you guys. Your garbage crisis isn't worth the attention. Joe Biden's uh, tweet clarifying, which I want to point out is in no way actually written or posted by Joe Biden himself, because this came out at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. And let me tell you, Joe Biden is in bed by eight or seven. Earlier today, I referred to the hateful rhetoric about Puerto Rico spewed by Trump's supporters at his Madison Square Garden rally as garbage, which is the only word I can think of to describe it. His demonization of Latinos is unconscionable. That is all I meant to say, blah, blah, blah. Trying to walk it back, but he called us garbage. But the point, absolute point of this video is how Donald Trump trolled President Joe Biden and Kamala Harris by riding a MAGA garbage truck to his rally in Wisconsin on Wednesday night in response to that, what they're saying is a gaffe. It wasn't a gaffe. He said what he said. He's an old, he's an old crotchety man. He said what he said. And then I was like, ah, oh, shit, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but I did. Wisconsin is notably one of the seven battlegrounds uh, that could ultimately decide the election and polls show the state is essentially a coin flip, neck and neck, head to head, 50-50, 
anything can happen. And so this uh, this garbage truck stunt, and I mean, it is a stunt, straight up. It's a political stunt. McDonald's was a political stunt, but they're genius political stunts. Kamala Harris tried uh, to distance herself from Biden's remarks. The side of the tow truck is emblazoned with a Trump sign that has an American flag over the window. It's a good looking truck, though, eh? I mean, <laughs> these photos are just great. Look at that Trump make America great again 2024. That is <laughs> I just oh goodness. As the 78-year-old leaned out the side wearing an orange reflective vest, he took questions from the press. One asked if he owes Puerto Rico an apology over comedian Tony Hinchcliffe calling it a floating island garbage during his his rally. I love Puerto Rico and Puerto Rico loves me. I don't know anything about a comedian, Trump said. Nobody has done more for Puerto Rico than me. Nobody gets along better with Puerto Rico. They love me and I love them. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, maybe he doesn't know anything about the joke. Sure, he does. He, he would have to, wouldn't he? The Republican nominee, nominee was in Wisconsin for a rally with NFL legend Brett Favre. The retired Green Bay Packer quarterback told the crowd, just like the Packers organization, Donald Trump and his organization is a winner. And the United States of America won with his leadership. I can assure you we're not garbage. How dare you say that? Looking out, I see police officers, teachers, nurses, grandparents, and students. I see everyday Americans that make this country great. Trump then took the rally stage, still wearing the orange vest, as the crowd roared. I have to begin by saying 250 million Americans are not garbage, he opened by saying. Kamala and Joe call all of us garbage. I call you the heart and soul of America. You built our country, Trump said, to massive applause. He recounted the offer he got to drive the garbage truck just minutes before landing in Wisconsin. This week, Kamala has been comparing her political opponents to the most evil mass murderers in history. And now speaking on a call for her campaign last night, Crooked Joe Biden finally said, what he and Kamala really think of our supporters, he called them garbage. No way. No way! <laughs> and they actually mean it, even though, without question, my supporters are far higher quality than Crooked Joe or Lion <laughs> Kamala. Higher quality. Higher quality. My response to Joe and Kamala is very simple. You can't lead America if you don't love Americans. That's true. Sir, would you like to drive a garbage truck? One of his staffers petitioned. He said he thought it sounded kind of cool and was up for it, but was told, sir, you have a vest. Then came the next challenge, climbing up the dauntingly high steps into the garbage truck. How the hell do you get into that truck? From joke noting how it was way up high. He admitted thinking, if I don't get up there, this is going to be very embarrassing. I think Joe Biden could have got out those steps. He can't even get up the super extra baby steps. The Air Force One, the former president, revealed that with all the cameras rolling, he really had the adrenaline going. But after the event, he panicked. Where is my jacket? His concerns were quickly alleviated. He said, it actually makes you look thinner. Trump said while smiling, <laughs> mentioning, that he appreciated the flattery. They got me, and I said, now I want to wear it on stage. He told me, cracking up or cracking up the crowd, I may never wear a blue jacket again. He continued on uh, stoking the crowd's laugh. So that, that's that. So Donald Trump supporters are garbage, apparently, and Donald Trump has no problem doing a political troll in a garbage truck. That's uh, how 2024 is that. My goodness. Anyways, that wraps up this video. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>